welcome to my channel today we're going to be testing out a brand new fenty product we have expanded the body range and we have the body cells so i got the shade pearl swirl which is the lightest one because i am pale and pasty especially because of quarantine my legs be so pale and pasty so i thought this would be a pretty good test to try out on me i have a lot of questions for this product i'm also going to see how the body lava compares to this you guys know i did a video on the body lava and i love the body lava and it smells amazing and i love it so much so we're going to be testing these two out for a size comparison they look amazing together um fenty packaging is bomb they actually have about the same amount of product in them the body lava is three fluid ounces 90 milliliters i have the shade who needs clothes and for the body sauce it is 3.2 fluid ounces or 95 milliliters so you do get a little bit more product for this one and this one is also a bit cheaper this one is 48 dollars and the body lava the the body lava is $59 which I do think has to do with the packaging and I also have one of these little face and body brushes that I'll be trying out as well as one of these now I it is not sunny outside it is cloudy like 20 mile per hour winds and it's like 50 degrees right now so it is cold it's hot in the house but it is cold outside so if you guys are wanting some like in the sun pictures definitely check out my instagram thing the link will be down below in my description box and i'll post some before and afters of what this looks like in the sun but i did want to test out a little bit of this because i did have some questions i do have i just propped myself up a little bit but i do have you know some freckles discoloration i am pretty pale i do have a picture of my legs uh, my legs are not the prettiest at all i do have a lot of discoloration i have some scars my knees get kind of purple <laughs> mm, i get like the little red dots on my legs it, my legs turn red sometimes i'm just you know your basic pale and pasty i also have a couple little like moles that have been removed on me so i really wanted to test out this product because according to the pictures this does look a little bit more on the rosy side from the swatches i'll show you guys just to let you see but in person it doesn't look that bad but it definitely looks pretty dang dark in comparison to my body everywhere so i just wanted to show you guys like how dark this actually is um so i have my fenty foundation this is in the shade 120 this is what matches me currently it is a little bit more on the yellowy side this is my driving hand so it is a little bit tanner and this is the body sauce a little bit of this goes such a long way i did swatch this on my <laughs> on my hand earlier but yeah a little bit of this goes a super super long way but you can see the color difference of my foundation shade to this one which is why I wanted to try this out because I do feel like a lot of people, especially in this time right now, people who are looking for kind of like a body foundation would be, you know, someone like me. You know, maybe you have a spring wedding to go to, a baby shower, you know, some kind of event like that where, you know, we've been in quarantine, you want to wear a cute dress, but your legs are pale and pasty and you haven't shaved in a couple of months and you got those red bumps on your legs you're looking not too hot the sun hasn't seen your legs in like eight months i wanted to see how this would actually work because in my opinion just based off of like what i could tell 
from swatching it on my hand. I would probably rather use, you know, some my tanning solution to get more of a tan look to me and then use my body lava on top of that, you know, maybe on the tip of my shins, you know, add a nice little like highlight, but let's try this out. I am not gonna be trying this out here. I'm gonna change over to the bathroom and show you guys what it's like applying and going over my leg and how it blends out and all of that good stuff. So let's get on into it. Also, I wanted to try out how the, how fast this dries and it does say that it is transfer proof and waterproof and you know, all of sweat resistant, all of that stuff. So we're gonna test that out with a paper towel see how long it takes to dry and then I also want to see what the body lava looks like over top of it. So let's get on to this. All right welcome to my bathroom. I just wanted to show you guys in this awful lighting of my bathroom what my legs look like before and then I'm going to put one pump on my upper side and just show you guys this one blended out. It blended a lot better on my skin than what I thought. The brush worked really well the lighting is a little off to where it's really yellow in my bathroom, so it does look a little lighter than it does in person, but in person it is a lot darker. And then I just used another pump for the inner part of my thighs, and as you guys can see, it looks pretty good so far. And then I tried to go over my knees. The redness on my knees didn't really get covered up. It did even them out, and then I did get my studio light to kind of... And get the lighting a little bit better in the room for you guys. It was a little frustrating. And then I just soon did it up close to show you guys what it looks like blending out on my shins and how nice it looks. You can see a little bit of the glow. Some of the glow goes away after a while of wearing it, but most of the glow stays like that. And then uh, I wanted to show you guys if it was transfer proof since I waited like five minutes and it was still transferring and I wanted to test out if it would layer up really well on my upper leg so I just added two more pumps on my legs and it did layer but it did turn out to be a lot darker than what I was expecting like when you layer sometimes it'll add more coverage just as this just made it look a lot darker on the skin so if you layer it, it does get a bit darker than shearing it out. And then I did one more video to kind of show you guys a more up close of what my legs look like side by side with the redness and discoloration and everything. All right, so now that you guys have seen everything, sorry about that I couldn't film it outside, but hopefully you guys can see, I have had this on my legs for a while and it is still transferring with um you know tissues and whatnot um i don't really feel like it transfers like on my hands well maybe it does yes it does transfer on my hands <laughs> you can kind of see that but um from swatching this earlier it does wash off really easily with soap and water. I washed my hands after I did some swatches on my arm and it came off almost immediately. But yes, it does transfer um, on my hands. The tissues are transferring. Um, I will have to test this out for a while to see like how long this takes to, you know, kind of really set in. Because this is not setting, I'm not going to be trying it out with the body lava but the other thing that i wanted to add is this smells just like the body lava so if you do like the smell of the body lava this body sauce smells just like the body lava but just for fun let's put on the body lava because i'm gonna have to take a shower anyways i love this body lava so much this is what i feel like i would love to do all the time. I love the way it smells. I love the way it looks on my skin. I just think it adds such a nice glow. It just looks amazing. Like boring shoulder, fun shoulder. The body lava does 
have way more shine and shimmer to it than the body sauce. This definitely feels like more almost like Vaseline type of a feeling. Definitely transfers right now, but <laughs> this one almost feels like a satin foundation is like the best way that I can describe it. Like it's creamy like a foundation and as you blend it out, it kind of starts to dry down and it has this almost like natural finish to it. I wouldn't really say that it's dewy, but it does have like a little bit of glow to it. Definitely not to the extent of body lava. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions. I do want to put some self tanner on and compare my legs to or compare the body sauce to my regular self tanner because I don't know but if you are looking you know maybe if you are intimidated by self tanner you don't want the orange hands you don't want it to look splotchy you don't want it to like wait or you just have like one event to go to and you just want something like really quick for maybe a couple parts of your body I feel like this is pretty fast to get on um, I do feel like this is pretty natural looking like it didn't cover everything up but it does give me a little bit more evenness to my legs it does um, kind of conceal the veins that I have not all the way but it does and it does add a lot of bronziness so if you are looking for like something for just like one day to just kind of get all over your legs I do think this product is really nice to where you don't have to commit or run into the mistakes of self-tanner um, if you're like a newbie or something like that. So I do think that this is a good alternative in that regard. But yeah, let me know if you guys have ever tried body foundation. This was my first time trying out some body foundation on myself. So this was a very interesting experience and definitely let me know your questions and I will definitely be posting an update on my Instagram of how this wears and transfer if I have any updates and how it looks in the sun. So definitely check out my Instagram for a little bit more updates on how the product's going um, and ask me your questions and I will answer them to the best of my abilities. But if you do wanna watch some more videos, I will have my body lava video right over here if you wanna check that out. And this video will be suggested to you by YouTube and this my face will be right here where you click on it and subscribe to my channel.